know, I just got to, I just had to change the whole spectrum. Because I, I clearly was just live for damn near an hour plus, And niggas come in the live like, yo, what's up with the battle? Like, my nigga, I would, where were you? Anywho, let's get back down to it. Today is Sunday. And I most definitely want to keep y'all minds on the higher plateau Sunday. Uh, First and most foremost. (sighs) What I can say is to all. So last night. I had a long conversation with my son, right? And, um, uh, mine, he's eight years old. He's eight years old. And, um, he told me that a girl at school walked up to him and was like, Daddy, I, I don't know, a girl walked up to him at school and said, Hey, Zayden, I got a crush on you, right? Remind you, they're like, he, well, he's not necessarily in school, but he goes to this little art class, right? And, um, a girl walked up to him and was like, I got a crush on you, right? So I go, hey, son, what, what did you say? And he was like, uh, I don't know. And I was like, look, I gave my son probably some of the realest vi- advice that a father could give a son. I said, look, son. You got to walk up to her with confidence and you got to tell her this. Listen here, girl. I know who I'm going to be when I grow up. I know what I want to be when you when I grow up. And if you're not willing to help me build this sandcastle. If you're not willing to help me build this sandcastle, then we ain't got nothing in common. I said, that's what you tell her. So, boom. He goes back to school the next, uh, what is it, the next week, because it's like one day a week, so it's the next week. He goes back to school the next week. He tells her. He comes back, and I go, well, did you tell her? He go, I told her that. And I go, what'd she say? And he says, she just looked at me like I was crazy. And I see, I said, see, that's the problem. Bitches don't want real niggas. Bitches won't be pampered. Bitch, she was expecting you to buy her a lollipop or share your Capri Sun and some weird shit at the lunch table. She wasn't ready to hear no weird shit. She, I mean, she wasn't ready to hear no real shit. So I said, look, son, you just, you a real nigga at, two, at a young age. So just chill. You don't need none of these little hoes. Wait till you get a little older. Bitches start maturing more. Right now, you chill. You feel me? You play with your Legos. You feel me? You build your sandcastle and all that. But right now, you bitches ain't ready. These little hoes ain't ready. Bitch talking about she got a crush. Then I'm like, then first and most foremost, I'm like, hey, son, what what was she? Was she white or black? It's like she was white. That and I was like, oh, see, the, all the bitch groupie loving, man. Then you can't, you, you, you the son of probably one of the most greatest rappers ever. Like, you think she ain't dick riding, son? Man, this bitch a groupie. Man, you don't get away from her before she try to set you up. Boom. So I so the very next morning I tell my son, hey, I I walk my son to the police office, all that. We need a restraining order. Police like, what do you mean? We need a restraining order. It's a little girl at school that keep acting like she wanna touch my son. So nigga, he need a restraining order, nigga. She need to stay fifteen feet on the other side of the monkey bars. Police was like, Wait, what? What you want to make that 50 feet? I said 15. She needs a 15 feet on the other side of the monkey bars. 15 feet away from the sandcastle. Nigga, he need his, his, nigga, he need his space. The police is looking at me like this is a joke, right? No, it's not a joke. These bitches be lying. Especially them ones. They be lying. My son, a, low, a high key celebrity up here at this school. What the fuck you talking about? She lying. Don't get this little bitch away from my son's sandcastle. What's wrong with her? No, I'm serious, right? So I'm like, yo, son, 
I was thinking about some crazy shit, like, I was like, what up, dad? I'm like, man, like, you're going to be a teenager one day. Man, I'll be thinking about that all the time. Do you ever, like, do you ever look at your kids and be like, damn, they're going to be, like, adults one day. Like, what type of life they going to have? Like, you know, and all you could think about is the certain things they seen or the certain things you installed in them. But you got to think, like, what? What the fuck they going to be when they grow up? Because we, we didn't really know what the fuck we was going to be when we grew up. Even with all the shit our parents told us. Feel me? So I'm like, yo, like, I, I'm like, hey, bro. All right, so just a few things I want to tell you before you grow up. And I want you to remember these things. And I notice, like, parents don't never tell their kids shit like this. Because parents don't even know how to tell their kids shit like this. I'm like, yo, hey, look, son, on some real nigga shit, bro. On some real nigga shit. The earth is a video game. And the rules are set on extremely difficult for us. You notice how shit happens when we walk around here. Do you notice when we go to stores, people look at us funny. You notice when we go to the bank, securities hold on to their guns. You notice, like... When we go to parks, certain kids don't play with you. You notice this shit, right? Remind you, we in Orange County. He was like, yeah, Dad. I'm like, you notice how when we go to the park and there's no black kids there and everybody else playing tag and you ask, could you play? And they just ignore you, right? You notice that, right? You're like, yeah, why do they do that? And at that moment, my mind freeze, right? I go, all right, should I tell them the truth? But then I don't want him to grow up with hatred. Right? But then if I don't tell him the truth, I'm technically lying to him. Right? If I don't tell him the truth, I'm technically lying to him. So I go, you know what? Hey, son, come sit on my lap. He goes, what's up, dad? You know, are you really ready to go down this rabbit hole? You know, he goes, dad, what is a rabbit hole? Is that like a... A bunny booty? I'm like, oh, here you go with your... Oh, you just got to be my son, huh? You know, I want to think of punchlines and metaphors. And like, yo, I'm nice. I'm like, All right, whatever. Right? So, I go, what it is, Zayden, is... These kids don't like you based on their parents installing things into their mind of telling them that we are the bad guys. And he go, what, what's we? I go, us, like people are color and darker. We are the bad guys to the entire society. For some odd reason, they have labeled us bad guys, right? But not only have they labeled us bad guys, like they secretly want to be us. But he was like, why? And I was like, well, to be honest, All right, and I showed him a baby picture, right? I, I was changing his diaper, and I showed him a baby picture of himself. And I was like, you see that thing right there in the middle? Look, you only about eight months, and you already three inches. Then he looked down in the middle of his legs, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, that's part of the daddy signature trait. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a that's the main reason. He go, well, it's just my wiener, Dad. I go, nah, that ain't a wiener, son. That's a weapon. That is not a wiener. That's a weapon. It's a real live weapon of mass destruction. He go, what are you talking about, son? That's a weapon of mass destruction that could wipe out a nation. He go, how the hell I'm supposed to do that with my wiener, dad? I said, you could wipe out an entire species with that. He go, how? I go, if you actually went on a fucking spree and fucked a hundred billion non-black people, you would destroy them. Wait, what? Yeah. You would delete. 
That's a weapon. And they know this. So. This is all based on species cancellation. Everybody is fighting for space, son. Like you go, what do you mean? Everybody is fighting for space here, right? It's like the human body when some when a cold or something comes in your body, and everybody's fighting for space. Like one per, like you know, you're pushing, you're pushing back and forth. You got to spit. It's like a, that's what's happening on Earth. Everybody are fighting for space, right? And everybody are fighting for species, their species, and one species or one gene pool can cancel out an entire gene pool based on the right circumstances. So everybody are fighting for space. And that's a bar because niggas are also fighting for space too in like real life space. But, but bigger than that, right? And he goes, well, why are we fighting? And I go, well, you want to be extinct? He goes, what is extinct? I go, son dinosaurs extinct no more like non-existence like he go oh shit remind you i let my son curse he could do whatever fuck he want i go yeah you're right oh shit you remember right and i go now think about you son do your grandparents remind you he got grandparents on the other side right because my my girl afghanistan so I go, do your grandparents consider you Afghanistan or do they consider you black? They go, black. I go, exactly. But how are you not Afghanistan when you're clearly half and half? But in their eyes, you ain't half and half. You ain't none of them. You black. You a light-skinned nigga in their eyes. You ain't nothing. No. Nope. He go, damn, dad, I never thought about it like that. And I go, exactly. You ain't, you ain't half Afghan in they eyes. Hell no. You ain't in they eyes and the rest of the family members on your mama side. You ain't mixed with none of them. You black. And he go, damn, that's fucking right, Dad. I go, exactly. Now you understand what I was telling you about your wiener. It's a weapon. Now, you got to think, your mom family, they don't like that. You ever notice how they look at me, them old-ass Afghan niggas? You ever notice how they really look at me? They don't like that I have broken their entire genetic code. They don't like it. Their genetic code to make sure their species continue is broken. And they don't like it. The elder niggas don't like it at all. They don't speak to me. They don't talk to me. They they don't even... When, when we at a party, they do all the little Afghan hugs and shit. Nigga, they be giving me the long five. Nigga, that shit be way out there. Like, nigga, don't hug me. Don't touch me. I just be like, you dumbass niggas really on that? Cool, I'm about to get this bitch pregnant again, bitch. You really own that? All right, I'm about to fuck the dog shit out of this bitch, and I'm bust a big nut in there, bitch. Make every time I fuck my girl, I'll be thinking about her, her daddies and them. I'll never think about her. Never, never. She be like, "Baby, you want some?" I'll be like, "Yeah." I be beating the pussy up. Nigga, one time, nigga, I said her daddy name, ooh, Kobe G. She's like, wait, what? I was like, oh, my bad. Nigga, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, I hope you could feel it. <laughs> That's how I felt. Nigga, I hope you could understand, nigga, I'm pounding the dog shit out of your daughter. Nigga, I'm a bust a big old nut in her. Big one. You know when you about to bust a big nut, you can feel it all the way from your knees. You ever be hitting it from the back and your knees buckle a little bit? I be hitting it from the back. Wham, wham. I be just thinking about all her uncles. Like, I just wish y'all, nigga, I might film this shit and send this to y'all in the group text. Keep playing with me. Wham, wham, wham. 
I'd be like, oh, I'm about to come. I just, my nigga, you know when you about to bust a nut and you like dig deep in that thing? Ooh! <laughs> nigga, I'd be making Mario noises and all that. It bust my big old nut in there. What? Pregnant. What? I get so weak in my knees and my heart can't feed. I lose all control. And you're not. What? I. What? Big old nut. Every time I bust a nut, my girl, I'll be like, I'm the type of nigga, because, like, my girl, she be doing tricky shit. She be taking plan B's and all type of shit without a nigga even knowing, bitch. So I'm the type of nigga, right? After I bust a nut in my girl, nigga, I go down there with a flashlight. Nigga, I take my little cell phone. I go down to the coochie. Then I grab her coochie lips and hold it closed, nigga. No nut coming out. Nope. Get in there. Get in. I grab coochie hole and close. Get in there. Don't think about coming out at all. No. Not one drip coming out of there. Nope. Get. Oh, y'all never did that? Y'all ain't real niggas if you never did that. You ain't real. You ain't really a real one if you never did that. What? I grabbed, I grabbed coochie and clothes. Two fingers like that. Wham. Nothing coming out. Get in there. Right? What? I'm not playing with her. Secure the bag. Fuck you talking about. Secure the baby. Nigga. I secure the baby. Quit playing with me. Right. But no, right? Like, so my son was just like, he'd be like, yo, dad, like, he be asking me questions. Like, we'd be walking to the park or something. He asked me questions like, yo, dad, like, people really don't like me because of the color of my skin. I go, no, son, that ain't it. Right? He go, what you mean that ain't it? I go, son, it ain't the color of your skin. I don't even think that's really what it is. That's like a bluff. Like, it's something else. Because the reason why, I, look, let me, let me be honest with y'all. The reason why I believe it's something else, because you will have a nigga in 7-Eleven that's darker than us that still don't like us. Right? No, 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 no. It's niggas that are darker than us in this world that still don't like us. So it's, it ain't that, bro. It's something else. Them dark ass Indian niggas, bro. It's dark ass Afghan niggas. Dark is nigga all type of shit. Niggas, niggas still don't like us, bro. It's dark niggas in this world. Black people ain't the only dark people in this world, bro. It's other dark niggas in this world that really don't like us. It ain't, it can't be the color of our skin, bro. So I go, well, maybe they don't like the way we act or the way the entire era has perceived black people. Like, for example, when you look at mass media, mass media really promote that black people are criminals, right? And if you think about this, uh, mass media is pumped to 95% or 99% of all other races. So mass media promotes in the eyes that black people are just drug dealers or rappers or sports players or criminals, right? That's what the mass media promote and is a big agenda that's being pumped for years. So if you got all these other races thinking that that is how black people are, right? If you got all these other races thinking that that is how black people are, then that's how people going to perceive black people. But what people don't really realize that's looking at it from the outside in is these are the conditions that was given to us, right? Like we didn't create dope. Ain't no black nigga in no scientist lab created drugs. 
Nigga, we ain't just create guns, nigga. Somebody dropped them off in army in fucking cargo tanks in the hood, bro. I remember when it happened. We ain't just create guns, uh, nigga. Like, we ain't create none of this shit, nigga. We didn't create the projects that we live in. I don't know no black nigga that built the project. You show me a project right now built by a nigga. Like, hey, meet Jonathan A. Jackson, the first nigga build a project house. Nigga, no. We ain't build none of this shit, my nigga. We don't we ain't even supposed to be speaking English. We don't even know how to connect. Bro, so when you think about the overall psychological circle of the circumstances, yo, my wordplay is fire. The overall psychological circle of the circumstances, yo, that was dummy fire, bro. Sometimes I be like amusing myself. Like, I got that out clean, my nigga. Like, dummy clean. That wordplay fire, though. That was nasty, my nigga. The psychological circle of the circumstances. Yo, that was a dummy fire, my nigga. Niggas don't... Yo, these conscious niggas don't be having wordplay like me, my nigga. They be hard, you feel me? These conscious niggas be hard. They be talking all they cool shit. But, my nigga, I'll be... My nigga, I'll be having some, some cold one-liners in there, my nigga. You feel me? That was a bar. That was clean, my nigga. That shit was that shit floated out so clean, nigga. I just wish I had my Chris Rock hands. The consequences of the circle, bro. You feel me? But no, right? So getting back to um, what I was saying, like, like every condition, like conditions that we were placed up in, are the reason why we are the way we are, right? And the fact that we are blamed for the conditions that we were put in is is beyond me, bro. Right? The fact that we are blamed for the conditions we are put in is is amazing. Right? Right? So like like I said, when you see a black criminal, right? A person that got caught stealing something right you think it's his fault that he stole something no black people only steal because we don't have nothing and everything was stolen from us we don't have shit everything was stolen from us so you cannot expect a, a black nigga to steal something back like if a nigga go to walmart and steal something like Nigga, it shouldn't be a crime, nigga. Like, if you know what Walmart company and all them niggas have done to the whole world, like Disney and all this shit, like... Nigga, like... Why isn't these niggas on the news? Some of the biggest banking liars, Wolves of Wall Streets and all these niggas, they never make the news, right? So, like... When you really think about it, like, niggas have been damaged, like, like, we have been damaged on the level of damage that's unfathomable, right? And then, on top of that, the level of damage that has created this mentality, on top of that, well, like I said, the biggest problem, right? Look, it's not the land. Look, all right, look, black people. Listen to me, black people. If y'all listening to this, I want you to really understand this and understand as much as you can. And it's sad that I have to use the poison to even make you understand this shit. Even the term understand, right? Like understand, like you'll be under the fucking words, right? But, right. It ain't the land. Like black people always talking about 40 acres and a mule and shit like that. Like I need my 40 acres and a mule and all that. Man, fuck all that. It ain't the land, it ain't the natural resources. Fuck the land, fuck the natural resources, fuck all of that, fuck the gold, fuck all that shit. You know what was really stolen from us? You know what was really, really, really stolen from us and it is the greatest thing ever? Our fucking language, our native language. That is, no, nah, fuck the spirit, fuck all that shit. It's our native language. Language have secret codes, secret spells, secret ways to unlock certain mentalities. Secret, it's the language. Our own dialect, 
are on it's all the language that was stolen from us now we can't cast our certain spells we can't say our certain prayers we can't say our certain rituals like when you think about black magic and all that shit witches and all that shit all that shit like the elder you know you know the elder like you know how like you you watch certain documentaries you got black panther niggas to all that shit like elder niggas that know certain words and certain, like all right let's take the movie avatar right Take the movie Avatar. Yeah, they speak English, but yeah, they got their native language. Then when they speak their native language and native spells, they can align certain shit with the planet. They can align certain shit with the world. Like, it's certain things that can align based on the certain dialect, the certain words that you speak. So, the biggest thing, shamans and all that shit, the biggest thing is our language, bro. It's language. You notice how when you go to school and you go to high school, like black people, right? And this is this crazy that they have the audacity to say certain black schools got low grades and black kids not learning and shit like that. Like and oh look at like look at the levels of lies, right? So it's like, oh, this school is full of minorities and they test scores are low. Bitch. We ain't even supposed to be speaking this shit. How the fuck you expect me to read when this shit ain't even native to my brain? Genetically, this ain't even mine. How the fuck you expect me to read in advance when this shit ain't even mine? Like, right, so when you see non-black schools that excel in certain shit, they got higher reading scores and spelling bees because that's y'all's. You ever notice, right? How, like, no high school, right? We talking about any high school. Any high school in any public public high school, there is no class to teach you how to speak. No native app, nothing. Only thing you're going to learn is English and Spanish. You're going to learn English, Spanish, and French, probably. It ain't no... It ain't... Listen to me. It ain't no... It ain't no classes in none of these high schools that teach you how to speak no native nothing. But you ever notice this? Everybody else got their native language. You ever notice that? Chinese still speak their native language, right? You ever notice that? Chinese still speak their native language. Mexicans still speak their Spanish. Uh, Afghanistans and all them niggas speak their Farsis and Kandahars and all that other shit. Nigga, everybody got their own native dialect, but we as quote-unquote African-Americans, we really don't even have our own tongue. Y'all talking about mental slavery, bitch. We don't even have our own alphabet. We talking about, we talking about slave. Fuck whips and chains, my nigga. Our tongue is in shackles. Fuck, fuck whips and chains and, and shot by the police and beat. Fuck all of that. Our tongue is in jail. Our tongue, our actual tongue is in jail forever. Our tongue is in jail. That's the craziest part. Our actual tongue is in jail bro it's wild bro our tongue is in jail we don't even know how to use the shit right I mean I do I know how you pussy good and motherfucker I ain't even going for it. I'm a good pussy either. ask my bitch she'll tell you yep I get dummy crazy. I know I use my shit, but I'm talking about on another level. Our tongue is in jail, right? On top of our tongues in jail, like my man just said, we don't even got our own names, bro. Have you ever thought about all of our names? I think my name Devon Campbell. Nigga, you got Jason Johnson's. And nigga, uh, nigga, Kevin Jackson's and all. Bro, you ever think about our names? We don't even got our own names, bro. 
You ever... My nigga, on some real shit, when you look at the NBA... When you look at the NBA and you look at all, and you look at the NFL, you look at whoever, and you look at these niggas' names on the back of their jerseys, you ever think about that? That don't never bother you. That don't never bother you. Like when you when you see like niggas' names on the back of their like that don't that don't never bother you. It's like. Damn, the slave owners is looking from a top view, like a skybox. Like, yep, I own that one. I own that one. He's part of the Johnsons. I own that one and that one. You ever think about that? You ever think, like, there's a slave owner at the top of a skybox. Like, yep, he's part of the Johnson family. We took his parents and his great-grandparents, and yep, that's how they all got the name Johnson. It's kind of wild, bro. Bro, we still living on slave owners. That's why when motherfuckers be like, yo, racism is over and it's a thing of the past. I don't know no niggas in the hood with native names. Bro, shut up. Look, what I'm saying is this, right? It's not over. Slavery is not over. None of that shit is over. It's still full in effect. And we got to deal with it and find ways to cope and maneuver around this fucked up situation because a lot of shit really ain't right. And it's crazy that there's people out here that have this weird ass mentality that shit is right and shit is not bad as it seems. Bro, it is. So, my thing is the more and more I get into language and the more and more I study different languages and I study different dialects and I study different contexts of certain words, I study different ways to speak different words, I study different forms of syntax, different forms of semiotics, different forms of etymology. Like when you get deep into that aspect, you start to realize how many booby traps is designed inside just the tongue itself. When you think about how powerful a tongue is, right? Like, this is why they say speaking in tongues. Like, a lot of niggas don't know this. But when you think about how powerful a tongue is, like, nigga, this shit could taste. This shit is like a direct connector to your brain. Like, it could taste shit. It could smell shit. Like, like you ever move your tongue around? Like, yo, what is this wiggly thing? Look. Like, what is it? Like, it's like a, another creature when you think about it. Like, you ever think about your tongue? Like, like just, like, really do this. Like, move your tongue around in your mouth. Like, like it's like a laugh. No, like, really do it, though. Like, really move your tongue around in your mouth. Like, it's, like, really alive. Like, it's like a, another species when you think about it. Bro, it's like a real live alien. Like, what if your tongue ain't even a part of your real thing? Like, what if it, like, what if it can leave whenever it want? Like, bro, so you got fingers and toes. Your tongue really like a finger. Like, it's like a thing. Like, Right. When you think about that, right? You ever be you ever be with your boo, you feel me? But this ain't your real boo, this like one of your side pieces. And you like late night, you feel me? You like, you know, I'ma just try to be freaky and kiss on their neck or something. This shit tastes like salt. You ever kiss somebody neck? You know, like get a little licky licky on the little neck, you feel me? Like, oh this shit is salty. But you still keep going, though. You feel you don't stop. Don't act like you ain't never kissed a salty neck before. D don't lie. Ladies, y'all didn't suck this salty dick before. Don't, don't act like y'all ain't gave a nigga no head after he played basketball one or two times. Don't lie. Girls, don't lie. Because niggas still eat that box with a little stitch. Don't lie. Don't lie.
Ladies, look, I don't know you. You don't know me. We ain't got nothing to hide. You didn't suck the salty dick. We didn't ate a little stingy coochie before. It don't stop nobody. We real niggas out here. We all real. It don't stop you not one bit. Little stitch. Little, ain't no, hey, ain't nothing wrong with a little stitch. What y'all fella realize, us real niggas, we like the little stench. You know the coochie smell? You know the thing when they been in the jeans all day. What? That thing bomb. You know the coochie thing when they been in the jeans all day? Man, that thing smell way better than the, the fresh wash. I don't even like the fresh wash. I ain't even, I'm going to keep it real with the fresh wash. It just like, it's like, it feel like perverted, like baby, like. Like, I'd be like, damn, babe, like, go work out a little bit or something. I need that coochie smell thing. You know the thing I'm talking about, man. Don't lie. Hey, if you a real nigga, you know what I'm talking about. No, not the, not a stinky, fishy coochie. You know the coochie smell. You know the the pheromone things. You know the, the pheromone that the coochie poster smell like. The pheromones. Nigga, stop acting like you don't know what I'm talking about. Nigga, the thing the coochie poses smell like. The, the pheromones. You, the, the coochie muck. You know the thing I'm talking about. Man, that thing smell good. The the default stench. You, that's what it is. The default coochie stench. That thing is fire. Default coochie stench. Dummy fire. Ladies, stop acting like you ain't never sucked a salty dick before. I don't want to hear it. you suck at least one to two salties. What? Don't act like you ain't never did it. And don't say you stopped when you tasted the salt because you kept going because black people like salty stuff. Black people really like salty stuff, like for real. Like we, like we just like seasoning. So it's like, it is kind of salty, but hey, fuck it, shit. I'm just right up my alley. No, that's it. Default coochie smell. The default coochie smell. Dummy fire. Hey, we need some cologne. Girls, if girls really wanted niggas to really be on them, like from a mile away. They should make default coochie smell cologne, like perfume. Like that should be a perfume. Like y'all, look, le ladies, I hope y'all know we really don't like all that bunk ass smell good shit y'all be wearing. We really don't like it. I hope y'all know that. Because we already know the coochie going to taste like all type of cologne and shit, perfume and shit. You bitches be in the room talking about, ch -ch 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 -ch. man, you fucking up everything. Oh, sheesh. I remember I invited the bitch over one day. She talking about, I got to use the bathroom, right? The bitch forgot. We got dummy ears. All I hear in the bathroom, ch -ch -ch -ch. She come out the bathroom, I'm like, so yeah, back to what we was about to do. You feel me? What we was talking about on the phone, yeah, take them off. She talking about, no, let's wait. Yeah, I know why you want to wait, bitch. You got to let that shit simmer in, bitch. You just sprayed it on there, bitch. You ain't slick. Bitch, I know about the ch ch Bitch, you ain't slick. I know all. I know all the sounds, bitch. I grew up. I got six sisters. I grew up with all girls. I was the only boy in the house, bitch. My big brother was out in the street thugging. I was in the house with the sisters growing up, bitch. I know all the sounds. Fuck you talking about all of them. Ch -ch -ch. Bitch, I know the sound when you take your panty liner off, bitch. You ain't slick. Try to hurry up and take the panty liner off when you get in the bathroom because you got a little drip drip. Bitch, I, I'm I know all the sounds. I'm a professional at this. I have six sisters. Bitch, 
you got a drip drip, you had to take the panty liner off when you get to the house because you had to make sure the drawers were still clean before I took them off. Bitch, you ain't slick. I know all the secrets. Fuck you talking about? What? I'm as real as they gonna come. I know all the noises, all of them. Every... Listen to me. If I invite you over my house, you better take care of all the shit you took care of before you came. Because I know all the sounds. You better take care of everything you can need to take care of before you get here. Because I know all the sounds. I know sounds of... I know... I got the coochie pack on, like the coochie drum kit pack, locked in. I know all the sound. Don't try. Don't, don't even try. But let me tell you how much of a thing I am. I'd be like, all right, she been in the bathroom two minutes. I hear the toilet seat lift up. Boom. I'm like, well, what she lift the toilet seat up for? If she a girl, she did the bill. Wait. The bitch got a dick. What she lift the toilet seat up for? All right, boom. Bitch, put the toilet seat back down. Boom. And then you can hear her sit on the toilet because the toilet make a little squeak noise. Boom. The bitch sit on the toilet. Boom. Then you hear the pee come out. Boom. Right. So then when she get up, now you got now after the pee come out. Look, let me tell you. After the pee come out, you have the times the amount of time it took for her to stop peeing until she got to the sink to wash her hands. That's the crucial moment. From the pee to the wash hands, that's the crucial moment when she in there is sacrificing certain things. Right? So, boom. After she pee, she wiped. Now she wiped again because she got to make sure all the, if she got some extra Gucci Gucci in there somewhere, she got to make sure. Then after she wiped for the second time, she got to also make sure ain't no tissue stuck in there. You feel me? Because you ever ate the pussy, seen a little piece of tissue right there by the clitor? Like, man, what's this? Right? So, boom, right? You got to make sure. So, you listening. Boom, 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 right? You listening. Wham, wham, wham. You got, bro, you got to listen for all of that. Right? Now, if she good, let me tell you what. If, she, if a girl good, if a girl really about her business and she ain't on no fucking trifling shit... When she took care of all her shit before she even got to your house, she'd be like, oh, can I use the bathroom? You hear it. Toilet seat down, piss, wipe, get up, wash hands, back to the living room. What? Those are the real ones. Because the real ones know that little that little extra piss drip, like almost on the tip of the clitoris. We going to love that. We love that. You know the little extra little like you, hey real nigga, real you know the extra little pit like it's like a like a it's not a lot of piss. It's not a lot of piss. It's like a little bit. Am I lying? You know, fellas, you know what I'm talking about. Not a a, a full pissy one. It's like it's like a like it's like a little flavor. You know the little flake a little bit. Y'all know it. Y'all y'all ain't real. Y'all ain't real as me, my nigga. Y'all niggas fake. Y'all niggas fake. Y'all ain't real. Y'all niggas fake, my nigga. Y'all niggas a little piss, my nigga. Y'all ain't, ain't freaks like me. I'm a freak. You feel me? But anywho. So bam, right? So she come out, bam, right? Y'all get straight to action. Wham, 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 wham. But like when when you come out, when you come out the bathroom and you smelling too good, you hiding something. You, you got to know, my nigga. I've been through all the woodworks. When you come out the bathroom, you smelling way too good. Oh, yeah. That'd be my first sign. Condom. What? What? Because I'm going to keep it real. Real niggas know when you got some. 
All real niggas know when you got something, but they don't never stop a nigga from going in there. Shit. If you a real, real nigga, you gonna have your penicillins at the nigga with you. You ain't even gotta go to the clinic, bitch. You got your penicillins right with you. I popped them like Zannies. What? Real nigga got the penicillins like Zannies. Nigga, fuck you talking about? I go right in the bareback. Boop. <laughs> Real one, nigga. You don't get no realer than that. Shit, what you talk about? She be like, you pop pills? I'm, nah, this is prescription, bitch. What you talk about? I already know your type. Bruh. What? And you be in that thing. You be in that thing. She be like, oh, I'm wet. You looking at all the white shit. You like... Maybe she just super wet. I don't know. Shit, fuck it. What? My nigga, I'm 35 years old. Nigga, that wet wet ain't wet. Nigga, that ain't wet wet. That's burn burn. Them super grits, oh, that ain't wet, wet, that's burn, burn. That ain't wet, wet, that's burn, burn. What? Burn, burn. What? Bitch talking about, oh, you like that? I'm wet, I'm talking about. <laughs> yep, you wet as a motherfucker. I be popping my penicillins in the in the process. Fuck you talking about, bitch. Real, real nigga from the hood. Pop my penicillins in the process of it. Goop, goop. She. What? You know what be crazy? Like girls, see men, men, we be knowing, like, like men, we could go like a couple of months without knowing some shit. Bitches, y'all be knowing within a day or two, one day or two, you know, automatically discharge. Very next day, discharge. So why you just gonna go over there and try to act like you don't got a gooey thing coming out of there? What's wrong with you? See, if girls kept it all the way real with niggas, it'd be a lot. It'd be a lot easier. You be thinking a nigga ain't gonna fuck cause you got something. What? Man, nigga gonna go in that thing. Fuck you talk about. Girls be always thinking a nigga if you bad and you got some. You think a nigga still ain't gonna fuck you? Crazy. Just tell me so I can wrap it up. A nigga just not gonna fuck you? You bad on IG. Fuck you talking about? You dummy bad. This one for the team. Bitch, I deal with the prescriptions Monday. Bitch, the clinic don't open the Monday. Shit, it's Saturday. Shit, I get my pills Monday. I could go a day or two with a drip. Nigga, one drip, the nigga, a drip for a day ain't gonna hurt nobody. Shit, nigga, the clinic open Monday. I take a drip or two. Shit. What you niggas talk about? Nigga going in that. You better off just telling the nigga so a nigga could know what type of prescription he need to get. Hey, what you got? Chlamydia, gonorrhea, which one? Nigga, syphilis, which one? Nigga, nigga you be scrolling through your medication drawer like, nigga, syphilis, chlamydia. Nigga, got real. Nigga, shit. Nigga, this the herpes pill, but I don't know. If you got herpes, nigga, I'm wrapping it up. But if you got any other, the other curable things, nigga, I'm going in there bareback, shit. If you got some shit I can't get rid of, then let me know so I can wrap it up. But any other thing that I get rid of with a pop of the pill, I'm going in that. Fuck you talk about. Wham, wham. Fuck you talk about, bitch. You crazy. But y'all be, just tell a nigga. 
You feel me? Just tell me. Just tell me straight up. Just be like, hey. Hey, I just want to let you know I got a, li I got a little bit of gonorrhea. Just a little bit. Not a lot, a little bit. What you mean a little bit? Like, just a little bit. Like, you will burn, but you won't burn all the way. Like, I'd be like, is it curable? Yeah, you can just get those prescription pills. All right, cool. I'm in there. Wham, 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 wham. Because we all know that, that that affected pussy feel the best. Don't lie. Don't lie. We all know the effect the pussy feel the best. Don't lie, my nigga. Be honest, bro. Every time you got burnt, it was it was fire. Want me to tell y'all I know it was fire? Because you got burnt again by the same bitch. Fuck you talking about? That's how I know it was fire, nigga. The bitch burnt me the first time, bitch. I got burnt again a week later. Went right back in it. Pussy be so far, you be like, nigga, I don't even think she got it no more. It probably went away. She be playing with your mind. Fuck you talking about? You be like, I don't think she got it no more. It was a week ago. That was a that was like a week ago. It probably went away. I'm gonna just try it one more time. <laughs> You a real one if you got burnt by the same bitch twice. You a real one. It'd be dummy fire. What? You fuck the bitch with the lights off. You like, oh, it's dummy wet. She wet. I'm, I'm feeling this. Oh, wait. Right? You wake up in the morning. Oh, man, what's this? Man, what's this extra shit? Man, what's this? You be killing it with the lights off, man. You wake up with all type of drip drip. Drip drip. Nah, for real. What? Niggas be trying to act like they ain't never had nothing. Hey, come on. Let's keep it real. Let's play a real game. We'll keep it real. Who who had something before? Come on. Let's play a full game. We'll keep it real. And y'all niggas bet not lie. Everybody had to live some, some, especially if you from the hood. If you from any part of the world of lower poverty, you had at least one of them. Don't lie. You niggas always faking for the ground. Come on, niggas. Oh, I see y'all niggas faking. Y'all niggas want to fake for the ground. Okay, I see. Y'all niggas scared. Y'all want to fake for the gram. How you gonna fake for the gram? It ain't even a real page. Some of y'all pages blocked. Nigga, ain't that like we gonna find you and bully you? Nigga. Nigga, keep it real, my nigga. Don't act like you ain't just go to Coachella. Nigga, you just went to Coachella. Nigga, you got herpes. Don't lie. Some of y'all niggas, I know you just got back from Coachella. Nigga. Nigga got the clean herp hurt. Fuck you niggas talking about? What? Nigga said I might have got the crabs one time, but it wasn't that bad, G. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for real, my nigga. Hey, hey I'm trying to have y'all niggas keep it real, bro. Hey, my nigga, look, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with my nigga. We all been got before, bro. We all been got at least once, my nigga. Hey, keep it real, my nigga. My first, nigga, I got got when I lost my virginity, nigga. First girl I ever had sex with burnt the dog shit out of me, bro. Had me dummy hot, nigga. I went right back in it after I got cured. That's how I'm not lying. First, I lost my virginity. Girl, I lost my virginity too. Got me dummy good, bro. My first time ever having sex, bro. Boom, I go in it. Bam, I'm like this. Boy. My nigga, you got to think, the first time you have sex already feel good. But you got to think, the extra discharge and all the extra shit, because you don't know no better. You just thinking, you feel me? Yeah, I know third. I don't know. You know, you go in, you ain't, you a new booty. You don't know about the discharge. You think that's wet, wet. You feel me? You don't, you don't. When you fresh, you don't know about the discharge. You think it's wet, wet. You like, oh, this is wet wet this is fire oh the whole time you not knowing it's really fire for real right you telling yourself it's fire but no it's really fire right so bam like you in it bro i was 
in it, my nigga. I had a ball. I was in it, my nigga. I was so in it, bro. Look, let me tell you how in it I was. Boom, I go in. Boom, I'm about to nut off the first three strokes. I'm about to nut, right? Let me tell you, I'm about to nut. But I'm like, ooh, I'm about to nut. She's like, oh, you about to go out already? Because remind you, I didn't already lie to her like I'm a dummy professional. I'm like, man, I get dummy pussy. I fuck the dog shit out of you. My dick big is a motherfucker, bitch. You don't never want none of this. Right, I already done lied to her dummy cat, right? She didn't cat me out too with the I don't So let me tell you how it works. It's completely backwards, right? So the nigga that ain't got no pussy, no experience, he talking I'm talking dummy shit. I got no experience. I'm talking dummy shit. She talking like she ain't never did this before. Right. <laughs> Yo, that's that's how the, the whole world reverse. She like, I'm not really I don't really do this like, you know, like if you can like Take it easy on me. I never had sex before. She dummy capping me out, right? Dummy, dummy, dummy cap. So boom, right? I'm like, ooh, boom. So remind you, we cut the lights off. Like, that's the first. If a girl tell you she like to have sex in the dark, something wrong. Nah, bitch. Something wrong. You trying to hide something. Something wrong, wrong. Right? So she cut the lights off. She like, yo, cut the lights off. I'm like, but. Oh, all right, you know, maybe she nervous. Uh, I'm nervous too, so shit, you feel me? Well, fuck it, cut the lights off. So boom, she cut the lights off. Boom, she lay down on the bed. She opened up her legs, right? So I should have knew something was wrong when she put the dick in for me. I didn't even put it in. She grabbed me and put it in. I'm like, oh, she a, she a freak. This finna be hard, right? So bam, right? I take my, remind you, this is the first time I ever had sex, right? I go in and I slide all the way in deep. Like, I'm talking about, I go all the way in to where our pubic hair touches. I go, I'm deep in that thing. Right? I'm already about to nut off the first stroke, right? But I'm like, I got to take it easy, easy. I'm, I'm going too fast, right? So, boom, right? I go for my second pump, like. Man, right, I'm going slow. My mama, I'm going slow. This shit feel like my driving test. My, my first driving test. You know when they tell you you're on a residential, you don't really know if you're supposed to go 15 or 30. I'm going dummy slow. I'm I'm looking for pedestrians and all type of shit, man. What's this? Right? So, boom. I get on my third stroke. I feel the nut literally at the top of my dickhead. It's about to explode. Volcano about to erupt ASAP, right? So I remember my big brother always told me, if you about the nut, pull out, pull out. So bam, I pulled out right before I nut. Now this is the secret, right? This is the real, real secret. When you pull out right before you nut, not like as you nut, because if you already nutting and you pull out, oh, it's over. But if you pull out right before you nut, your weenie will do a thing where it trick your nut into you not about to have sex no more. And then your nut thing will go all the way back down to zero. Like, you know, your nut power meter thing is like the Street Fighter EX meter thing. Your EX meter thing will go back down to zero. My shit went back down to zero. Bam, I got in, I'm whamming the shit. Wham! Wham, wham, wham. I told you I was experienced. I told you, right? So I got my mojo, right? Bam, I'm whamming her shit. Right? We finished. Three days later. No, two days later. I mean, I must have went to take a piss. Oh, no. What is this? So I called my mama. Hey, mama. You know, I had, I had sex for the first time. And I just, you know, I want to know if this girl, like, the, her fluids is still coming out of me. Oh, no, my baby. Oh, uh, mama took me to the clinic and all type of shit. We was in, I was embarrassed. I was in there like, like, looking around, but it was cold because I seen a lot of my homies in there too. Oh, what's up, nigga? What you doing here? Niggas trying to lie. Like, you know, a nigga just came to pick up the prescription for grandma. Bitch, this a, this a, this a sexually transmitted disease clinic. Bitch, you ain't picking up shit for grandma. What's your lying ass up, bitch? You fucked the same bitch I fucked. We in here together. Nigga, let's fix this shit. Real niggas. 